Now, um, again, you know, I'm just trying to learn about this, but in bodybuilding, you have cycles. People take cycles and then they get off the cycle, right? Is that accurate? Yes, I mean, you have to give a break to yourself in order to produce its own hormones afterwards. And also you have to give a rest to your organs in order to relax. You know, you cannot be inside. Besides, it's the saturation of the androgens theory that after a certain point, you need to increase the doses or change the substances because you no longer react and, and you know, there, uh, there comes a, they, they become customized, the receptors. So what happens to your body if you just... You don't get off the cycle. You just stay on the cycle for the full year and then continue doing it every year. Well, I guess you're going to have cerebral, uh, horrible uh, dyslipidemia, homocysteine elevated, uh, hematocrit perhaps elevated also, and blood thickening. Uh, liver enzymes also increased. These are the standard deviations that take place. Of course, er erectile dysfunction, you know. After a time, you're going to need some HEG into the cycle in order to keep your own production and avoid testicular shrinkage. Uh, of course, the, the heart thickening, you know, and, and afterwards with growth, growth factors like IGF-1 or growth hormone, you're gonna have the, or, the organomegaly, which is cardiomegaly, that heart enlarges as a whole, as an organ. And then you may lead to cardiomyopathy and, and heart failure, you know. Um, yeah, the point is to cruise. If you wanna cruise, do it with a very low doses. If you want to get off, just use testosterone, you know.